And the evidence for plant-based diets continues to grow. So we, we one, one of sort of the, I think the most compelling of all of the types of research is when you follow groups, groups of people for many years and look at what they're doing, their lifestyles, their diets, and see who gets what disease. And we actually have been following three populations for many years, so three cohorts. The first being the Adventist Health Study 2, which is over 96,000 Seventh-day Adventists from North America. This study began in 2002 and is ongoing. The second is Epic Oxford with over 65,000 individuals from the UK. It began in 1993 and is ongoing. And the Suchi Health Study with over 6,000 participants, and these are Buddhists, some who are meat eaters, some who are vegetarians. It began in uh, 2007 and is ongoing. And I want to just mention one thing that's important to know about the, these three cohorts, and that is that people in these cohorts die at about half the rate of the general population. Whether they're meat eaters or vegetarians, they all are health conscious individuals. And so when we compare the meat eaters with the vegetarians, we're comparing people that exercise the same amount, smoke the same amount, drink the same amount. So it's a very fair comparison. We're controlling for all of these variables. So what are the findings? I'm just going to touch on some of the interesting findings of, of, of these various studies. So with cardiovascular disease compared to similar health conscious non-vegetarians or meat eaters, in Epic Oxford, the vegetarians and vegans had about 32% less heart disease. And in the Adventist Health Study 2, there were 23%, there was 23% uh, lower risk of heart disease among lacto-ovo vegetarian men and 42% lower risk of heart disease among vegan men, although there were no differences among the women. Hypertension in the Adventist Health Study 2 compared to similar health conscious Non-vegetarians, the risk of hypertension was 55% lower among lacto-ovo vegetarians and 75% lower among the vegans. And the, the results of Epic Oxford actually was quite similar. Uh, in the Adventist Health Study 2, the rates of diabetes were 38% lower among lacto-ovo vegetarians and 62% lower among vegans. In the Su Chi study, uh, diabetes, the rates of diabetes were 51% were lower among vegetarian or near vegan men compared to the non-vegetarians and 74 to 75% lower among the women. Uh, Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, the Suchi, this is a study that, uh, that just came out in 2018. Compared to similar health conscious non-vegetarians, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease was 21% lower among the vegetarians. And if you replace soy with meat or fish, the risk increased 12 to 13%. And if you replaced whole grains with refined grains, the risk increased 3 to 12%. Uh, cancer, again, we're comparing to the health conscious meat eaters. Epic Oxford showed 11% lower risk among lacto-ovo vegetarians and 19% lower risk among vegans. In the Adventist Health Study, 2 and 8% lower risk among lacto-ovo vegetarians and a 16% lower risk among uh, vegans. In Suchi, uh, breast cancer compared again to the similar uh, health conscious non-vegetarians, the risk of breast cancer was 58% lower among the near vegan participants. And daily soy isoflavone intake was associated with a 63% lower risk. So remember that we're going to come back to soy a little bit later. Uh, cataracts, Epic Oxford showed a 30% lower risk among lacto-ovo vegetarians and a 40% lower risk among vegans. Uh, diverticular disease, Epic Oxford again showed a 27% lower risk among lacto-ovo vegetarians and a 72% lower risk among vegans. Kidney disease in the Adventist Health Study 2, 
52% less kidney disease among the vegetarians and vegans. And in Epic Oxford, compared to those with a high meat intake, more than three and a half ounces a day, the vegetarians and vegans combined had 31% fewer kidney stones. So these are pretty compelling numbers. And what we can deduct from all of that is, is plant-based diets are highly protective against chronic disease. But not only are they highly protective against chronic disease, they provide a very safe and powerful treatment option, in many cases, reversing chronic diseases. So if we look at treatment outcomes, well, for cardiovascular disease, uh, they are, as far as I know, the only diets that have ever been shown to pr prove reversal of heart disease. Diabetes, uh, plant-based diets improve um, the ins insulin resistance, insulin sensitivity. They improve our, our blood lipids. And in many cases, we do see reversal of diabetes as well. And for cancer, plant-based diets have been shown to favorably alter genetic expression, reduce cancer cell growth, decrease DNA damage, and so improving uh, or reducing risk for cancer. And of course, the side effects with treatment using plant-based diets are all worth having. You tend to increase your life expectancy, you lose weight, you improve your lipids, you improve fasting glucose, you improve expression of genes, you reduce your risk of other chronic diseases, whereas with medications and surgeries, the side effects are not always so positive. 